वेलकम टू बी एस सी लाइव क्लासेस द ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ बी एस सी अकेडमी गुवाहाटी सो टूडे उल डिस्कस द आसाम ट्रिब्यून एनालिसिस वन टू एट फेब्रुआर ओके जीतु ए पी एस सी एग्जाम आई आस सो आम उल कन्सेनट्रेट ऑन स्टार्टिंग ऑन दोज कारेन्ट एफेयर्स उच आर रेलिवेन्ट फ्रम द एग्जाम पॉइंट अफ भ्यू ओके फार्ष्ट इज दैट द होशियला टेम्पल अफ बेलूर अलिबर्ड एंड Sumantapura in Karnataka has been finalized as India's nomination for UNESCO World Heritage 2022-23. Okay, Hoshiala Temple to put it like a quota assembly. Okay, so this is very important thing. Next point number two: repo rate versus reverse repo rate. So repo rate is the rate at which the central government grants loan to the commercial banks against government securities. Okay. Next reverse repo is the reverse of it: interest offered by RBI to the banks to deposit funds with them. Okay. So it will be a direct question. I generally PCS or okay. So just you can see the definition. Okay. Next point number three: environment impact assessment. <clears throat> So first of all, there who going to organization a define code is a UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. Okay, define EIA as a tool for identifying the environmental, social, and economic impacts of a pro project prior to decision making. Okay, so I mean, suppose any project or developmental work is undertaken. Okay, which involves. Uh, Which involves compromising with the environment, so that type of report is prepared. Okay, generally, for example, suppose if a dam is constructed or any other uh, developmental projects are undertaken, which requires uh, educate deforestation or cutting down of trees. For that, a survey is required to be prepared, and that is known as environmental impact assessment. Okay, next. Important point: EIA in India is statutorily backed by whom? Okay, so under which act EIA is compulsory? It is Environment Protection Act, nineteen eighty-six. Okay. Next point number four: Which state won the People's Choice Award in seventy-fourth Republic Day Parade? It is Gujarat. Next point number five: Follow on public offering. FPO is a is to follow the initial public offering. Okay, so two ta kotha hai sir. Ta asa IPO, ata asa FPO. Okay, IPO is generally for the first time, and FPO is for those which are already being listed in the stock exchange. Okay, so, or for example, for instance, you can say it is the additional issue of shares. Okay. After the first issuance, if first issuance, for example, recently you might have seen LIC has issued IPO. Why? Because it has gone public for the first time. Whereas you might have seen Adani went for IPO. Why? Because it had already offered the IPO. Okay. So this is the difference. Okay. Next point, very important, Misty scheme. So. This scheme is related to afforestation. The full form is Mangrove Initiative for Shoreline Habitat and Tangible Income. Okay, so this is for improving the man mangroves cultivation along the coastline and the salt pan areas. Okay, mostly in India, mangroves are generally seen in which place? It is in Sundarban Delta. Sundarbans. Okay. Point number seven. United. United Nations Cultural Organization (UNESCO) has this designated the historic center of Odessa as World Heritage Site, and it is being categorized as in danger. In a meeting in Paris, where is Odessa? First important point that Odessa is a place in which country? Firstly, you must remember that Odessa is in Ukraine. Since Russia-Ukraine war is going on, and that is why. Certain important places are very much in news. Okay, another important thing which might be related from here is the Chernobyl nuclear reactor. Okay, which is also in Ukraine. Next point number eight: World Wetland Day, which is celebrated on second February. Okay, so under this, what are important are Ramsar sites. So Ramsar sites are under the Ramsar Convention of nineteen seventy one. 
okay so under this convention there is only one place in or which is related to wetland in assam and that is known as deport bill okay into the hudha which is the largest wetland of assam answer to give a son bill okay so can you got a monotrack for extra point number nine international news financial service center authority okay it's a statutory body which is established in 2020 under international financial centers authority act okay so main aim case this is a inter-regulatory coordination within the financial sector okay first i don't think this question should come but just only the headquarter is important it is located in gift city in gandhinagar okay next point deep ocean mission okay so this aims for marine diversity or that biodiversity for sustainable use of resources okay so your question ki hobo pare je kuntu department or under of ministry of art sciences okay so your activities ki hoy it is exploration and conservation of deep sea biodiversity okay so yata ta kotha rakhibo je mission samudrayan samudrayan a mission to kunne launch korise it is launched by tamil nadu okay uh, the center is located in uh, chennai and that is known as national institute of ocean technology national institute of ocean technology in chennai tamil nadu that is in tamil nadu okay so it's a project under ministry of art sciences ministry of art sciences point number 11 the indian railways is introducing a green revolution by introducing hydrogen and electric trains to the eight heritage roads in our country by december 2023 okay so first test run will be done on the sonipat jind section in haryana okay next newest member country to international solar alliances congo okay so first of all we must remember international solar alliance headquarters is in gurugram gurugram haryana okay now who are the founding members india and france are the founding members of this alliance next a term which is in news angel tax so it refers to the income tax payable on capital raised by unlisted companies particularly this taxation is related to those companies which are not listed in the stock exchange okay so only that much thing is important from exam point of view so in this you must remember one thing what is known as greenfield investment and what is brownfield investment greenfield investments are those investments which are done particularly in new ventures whereas brownfield investments are done in those areas where there is existing infrastructure in place okay next is joint parliamentary committee which is in use because there is a growing demand among the parliamentarians for a jpc in the adani scam okay not scam in the adani fiasco okay so what is jpc so jpc is set up by the parliament for the special purpose like details scrutiny of a subject or a bill okay it has member from both the houses obviously rajya sabha and the lok sabha and both the ruling parties that is whether the opposition or the ruling government okay so members are decided by whom members are decided by the parliament and it has a specific tasks to be accomplished okay and but whatever they they find in the committee they are just recommendations and the, those recommendations do not have any effect okay so those written recommendations do not have any binding upon the government next point point number 15 this is very much in news odop odop means one district one product okay it's an initiative for a uh transform this is all these things are not required okay just remember it is for generating employment and rural entrepreneurship okay so one thing you must remember which state has first launched the odop it is uttar pradesh next point number 16 government has announced in the budget that the centers plan to launch a mission to eliminate 
sickle cell anemia by 2047 okay so especially for apsc this tar target based questions are important for example when does india provide intends to provide tap water to all its citizens answer will be 2024 okay so this target based questions are very important okay so let's continue studying the health ministry will now screen all tribals in the country below 40 years and give identity based cards on sickle cell anemia okay so basically this scheme is to eliminate the sickle cell disease okay okay so this were all the important facts which you must remember now let's solve some mcqs based upon those particular days okay so first question which of the following is issued by registered portfo foreign portfolio investors to overseas investors who directly want to be part of indian stock market without registering themselves directly okay so your options are certificate of deposits commercial paper promissory note or participatory note answer to this question will be participatory note next question which of the following articles of the indian constitution explicitly mentions about the privilege of the members of parliament okay nowadays you might have heard about privilege note motion okay that's why this question is in news answer will be article 105 next question which of the following statement describes the role of b, b cells and t cells in human body okay so this are also very important because recently a lot of work has been undertaken with regards to the gene medications okay so let's see the options they protect the environment allergens body they elevate their body pain and inflammation they act as immunosuppressants in the body or they protect the body from diseases caused by pathogens So correct answer will be to protect the body from disease caused by pathogens. Uh, next question, which refers to Indian judiciary, consider the following statements: Any retired justice of Supreme Court of India can be called back to sit by the Chief Justice of India without permission of the President of India. Point number two: A high court in India has the power to review its own judgment as Supreme Court does. Okay. So point number two is incorrect. Point number one, it is correct. Okay. So any judge may be recalled to sit in any of the uh, chief justices without prior permission to the president of India. In India, the central bank function as the lender of last resort usually refers to which of the following? Okay. So first point, lending to trade and industry bodies when they fail to borrow from other sources, which is incorrect. this is not the primary motive behind this next providing liquidity to banks having a temporary crisis which is correct and next lending to the government to finance budgetary deficits which is also incorrect okay so here only point number 2 is correct providing liquidity to the banks having temporary crisis okay just like the fire fighting mode okay now i want to detail you about one thing that is known as world bank and imf difference okay basically a lot of the people confuse between what is the role of uh, world bank and imf and what is their difference okay remember world bank is only for long term okay whereas imf is for currency one second currency stabilization okay so from that what we can decipher that this is for short term so this is the entire analysis i hope you like it so thank you